Violence, mainly against the Muslim community, spread to other parts of Kandy district on Wednesday, fanning the flames of hatred, suspicion and fear. I don't know what happened. My shop was attacked and my stock of tobacco was burnt. This businessman was in shock when Al Jazeera found him trying to salvage whatever is left of his stores in Katugastota. It was attacked and set on fire in broad daylight. Arson attacks too, not far away in the town of Akurana. Witnesses say a Sinhalese Buddhist crowd broke into Muslim-owned shops soon after the curfew started, looted goods and set fire to them when they were done. More than four days after the violence started, hundreds of military personnel in place and repeated curfews to control the situation, the flames are still burning. This shop front, like many other Muslim-owned establishments, being attacked just over an hour before we got here. Heavily armed members of the military and police have been crisscrossing hotspots in the district, but they haven't been able to stop attacks. The riot started after a Sinhalese truck driver died of his injuries. He was reportedly beaten up by a group of drunken Muslim youths, angered that he didn't allow them to overtake his vehicle. While most of the violence is directed at Muslims, Sinhalese are targets too. This Buddhist temple was vandalized and a Sinhalese youth living nearby is reported to have died when an explosive device was thrown at his house. Police told Al Jazeera they are still counting the number of dead and injured. The spread of violence prompted police to declare a 24-hour curfew in Kandy district and appeal to everyone to stay in their homes. Many scrambled to get back home after the surprise announcement. Others stocked up on food and fuel. The rush started after the 24-hour curfew was announced. Police have warned that the seven-day state of emergency declared by President Maithripala Sirisena on Tuesday allows police and the military to arrest anyone causing communal tension, which can mean a 20-year prison sentence if convicted. The Telecom Regulatory Commission has blocked access to social media and messaging platforms in a bid to control what it calls the spread of misinformation. Local and international observers are urging police to bring the crisis under control, take immediate action against anyone causing violence. Victims are hoping that happens as soon as possible. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Akurana, Central Sri Lanka.